Hi there, this is Robert Shine, Managing Director and Partner with Blanky Shine Wealth Management. Well, in today's edition of observations and things that we're, we're looking at or just news we're going to share uh, for our clients, friends, and family, um, please, uh, thanks for your positive notes and, and all your great feedback. I think uh, we're getting a lot of great feedback from clients, even uh, requesting more, more of these videos. So as we're all at home, uh, it's a new reality. Uh, our thoughts and prayers with anybody, especially the medical workers, um, and, and what they're doing for all of us. So we, we thank you for that. Um, and if you need anything, we're here for you. So let's get right to it. Well, today we're going to talk about a key observation that uh, was actually on CNBC this morning. Uh, one of their commentators, Bob Pisani, we all know Bob, he's a great reporter for many years to come. He interviewed even a, a bigger legend, if you will, Art Cashin. Art is the uh, head for the UBS uh, floor trading um, and the New York Stock Exchange. And he's done so for just under 60 years, being on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange. Now, if you recall, on March 23rd, uh, the New York Stock Exchange, because of the coronavirus, went to electronic trading, meaning uh, no one's on the floor. And why that interview is important is uh, Art actually brought up pretty good perspective as it relates to what New Yorkers are going through, what the New York Stock Exchange is going through. He likened it like a, a, the, a mall in the United States, if you will, because on the, new, the floor of the New York Stock Exchange, you've got, uh, gosh, everything from market makers to floor brokers to traders, and it's like a little mall. Um, and, and across the United States, we have malls obviously shut down. So uh, and, and New York is being hit hardest uh, through this uh, pandemic. And so as New York works its way through, and as we grind our way through sort of a new normal in the next months and weeks ahead, we're gonna to look to the floor of the New York Stock Exchange and how they reopen. And what does it look like? Um, that's a good proxy for America. Cause I, you know, once we get past this uh, and we will get past this, it's not gonna be, okay, everyone turn on the lights and, and let's reopen storefronts. It's going to be sort of a thoughtful measured pace. And so the New York Stock Exchange is going to be one of the proxies for America sort of getting out of this. And, and uh, they always has, have through years to come, through 9-11 and World War II uh, and even through the Depression. So New York Stock Exchange is the heart of America and uh, as, as well as the New Yorker. So thoughts and prayers to everybody and thanks for listening. So lastly, I want to share some good news with you. It's uh, a friend from John Krinsky. He uh, was an actor. Is, is actually his, his role was Jim on The Office. Uh, in the Shine household, I've got teenagers. And uh, we have The Office on. It was a comedy on NBC for over a decade. A couple weeks back, they just celebrated their 15th year anniversary of the show itself. Uh, and Jim is one of our favorite characters. Uh, he created uh, some good news network. Uh, I think he went out there to the internet, uh, especially since he's in quarantine, and he produced a 15-minute uh, video uh, that's on YouTube. Again, the link is provided uh, within this uh, down below, but it is probably going to be the one of the best things you've seen all week. So we're just happy to share it with you and uh, sort of change your outlook and, and start the good week. So uh, God bless everyone. If you need anything, again, we're here for you at Blanky Shine Wealth Management. Take care.